How about a classic science experiment using materials that are easy to find around the house to test your skills of observation? All right, take a look at this. I took a candle, melted the wax, and hooked it to this pie pan that you see right there. Now to that, we're gonna fill the pie pan with some colored water. So here's that part. And then you're gonna wanna find some juice bottles like this. That's what we're using here. Of course, we're using fire, so you need adult supervision. All right, so watch what happens first. We take one of the juice bottles, turn it upside down, and now I want you to predict what's going to happen. If you said nothing, you are absolutely correct because there's really nothing to happen. Notice the water stays right there. Nothing is going on at all. So now you know we're gonna change that up just a little bit by lighting the candle. All right, so now watch what happens. We're gonna do the whole thing again, but watch very carefully and make a little prediction what's gonna happen, ready? So we cover it up like this, down here like this, we let it do its thing. All of a sudden the candle continues to burn, continues to burn, but just as you look up here and you see the candle going out, then all of a sudden you start to look at the water down here and you realize the moment it goes out, the water rises, look at that even more. The question is, why does the water rise? Think about that, why does the water rise? Now there's lots of theories, in fact it's been debated uh, between scientists as to actually how it works, but think about this, let's just recreate everything, and it's, again your skills of observation. This time I'm gonna use a brand new bottle so that we're not using up, or so that we don't have any uh, carbon dioxide that's inside here. Watch what happens when I turn it upside down here and I put it down over it, that candle is going to heat the air molecules that are inside here and those molecules are gonna push out and you might even see a little bit of bubbling or a little movement as we put the jar down, there it is. But now all of a sudden we're gonna use up the oxygen in here. When it does, it's gonna cool everything down and when it cools down, those molecules are gonna come closer together and the outside air pressure, look at that causes the water to rise. Now, why do we do this? Number one, critical thinking skills. We need to learn how to use our critical thinking skills to reason. That reason comes to conclusions. Those conclusions help us to think like a scientist. I can't think of anything more important today than teaching our kids how to think critically like a scientist and maybe amaze your friends at the same time. I'm Steve Spangler and that's your Science Minute.